Hey dolls, I'm Regina. And I'm Julia. This is our channel and we are beauty dolls. Yes. So we are moms, we're makeup artists, um, we run a blog, and best of all, we've been friends for over 20 years. So this is our first ever YouTube channel. We're super excited and we really hope that you guys enjoy this journey with us and um, enjoy the content that we post. Yeah, so um, this is gonna be kind of a vlog style channel. Um, everything goes from beauty, fashion, kids related. Um, so we you know, we wanna have fun and we really want you guys to enjoy it as well. So please yeah. feel free to comment, you know, things that you wanna see and you know, we'll, Try to do that for yeah. you guys. So please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you can share the videos for us, we would really appreciate it. Make sure to ring the notification bell also so you guys get um, notifications of when we post our videos. And um, yeah. This is our look. Yeah. So if you guys day. want to see how we achieve this uh, everyday mom glam, so to say, um, and get to know us a little bit better with our Q&A, um, then keep on watching. Keep on watching. Bye, guys. Keep watching. <laughs> Let's get started. All right. Okay. So we posted a Q&A in our group and we had a ton of questions. So as we do our makeup, we'll yeah. go over all the questions mm -hmm. and try to answer as many of them as yeah. we can. Okay. Let's yeah. get started. Let's go. So I'm pretty dry, so I'm going to put a moisturizer on. I'm using Too Faced Hangover. One of my favorites. Um, super hydrating. And I'm going in with the Hey Honey Good Morning Facial Serum. Just a lightweight serum. I had that too. Actually, I actually already used it this morning. So. Really? Yeah. Usually I use like a pore filling one, but for every day I'm just going in for extra hydration. Yeah, I'm just using this for hydration. I'm going to go in with an actual primer as well. And then just because I get so, so, so dry, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of a hydrating spray. Ooh, I like love this one? one. Yeah, this is actually by Doll 10 Beauty. It looks like this. It's just a hydrating mist, and I really, really love it. Okay. So. Let's go. I'm going to get some questions going. All right. So what's one beauty product you can't live without? Um, Ooh. I could st I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Or I mean, we'll both answer, but I'll go first. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. Um, probably, I don't know why. Probably concealer. Concealer? Yeah, because I have two kids in nursing school and blah, blah, blah. But I just feel like concealer, I put it under my eyes, I put it on my lids, you know, anywhere, and I just feel awake. I don't know why. So one thing I just, hmm. I always reach for my concealer. If I'm on the go, that's one thing I reach for, besides my lip gloss. I'm going to start priming real quick, and I'm using the Tatcha Luminous Silk um, Canvas Primer, and I just use this in the T-zone just to kind of fill in a little bit um, my pores. And Does it matte it out? It gives it a little bit of a matte surface, but it fills in your pores, and I just really like the way that your face looks so, like, silky smooth and, you know, I don't know. I really love it. Um, I think that my um, go-to that I can't live without would have to be either like a CC cream or a foundation. I feel like if my yeah, skin looks you. really good, then I don't really care if I have makeup on or my eyes or anything else. Like I just feel like I have yeah. to have a good skin base and then I feel on point. I think that brings us in into the next question. <laughs> So one of the girls asked what the difference is between BB cream, BB cream and CC cream, and I'm actually using a CC now. Oh, okay. Um, so CC is more color correcting. If you have like redness, dullness, um, it's actually more even. It gives you a higher coverage than even a foundation. I mean, yeah. than, than a BB cream does. Yeah. Um, and a BB is just a little bit lighter. It's more moisturizing. So it's almost like that foundation mixed with like moisturizer. So it's really really lightweight. So if you want more coverage, I would go CC versus BB. Um, for all young girls out there, I think BB is like the perfect way to go. I'm using actually a CC cream, but this is definitely not as um, heavy as like uh, the Hey Honey one we love. The hey yeah, honey we CC. love the Hey yeah. Honey CC cream. This is Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. Actually, our dolls from our um, beauty group recommended this, and I've been loving it. Um, so I'm using um, this in the color Wheat 4.5. Okay. Yeah, so. I would recommend more of a CC cream because it is color correcting. So girls that have problematic skin... 
or any um, breakouts or just discoloration. Um, I just feel like a CC cream would be better coverage for you and help you color correct any um, imperfections you might have on your face. And I'm actually using a foundation that I've been obsessed with. I have a lot of drugstore products actually today. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible foundation. I just feel like it gives you the absolute most beautiful coverage without being like super heavy um, and just make sure you kind of blend it down on your neck um, and it still looks like your skin it's very luminous but it is so full coverage just not heavy and I really really love it and I'm using a Morphe sponge um, to kind of dab it into my skin this is definitely really hydrating so I mean this is great for yeah. like, the winter and the summer but you will get a little bit like kind of I mean, it gives you a glow. You definitely get a little, like, shine. Yeah. Do you want to go in with the next question? Yeah, let me just finish this. Slow down. Ooh. <laughs> I love the way that this looks. Like, this is just, like, my go-to. Yeah, it looks really good. All right, next question. All right. We'll get into, like, the love and hate question. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so what's one thing that you hate most about each other, and what's the one thing that you love most about each other? Oh, so, you want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. So, I think one thing that I hate most about Julie is that she's just such a procrastinator. Like, she's so busy and so much going on that I feel like I need things done and I'm so organized and, like, OCD with things that... I am it, too, but there's some days that I'm just not. I know. It just drives me crazy because she's more of, like, that, like, chill, everything's going to be okay. And I'm like, oh, my God, we got to get this done. We got to do this. We got to do that. So I just feel like I'm always on, like, go, 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 go. And she's just more, like, chill. But it balances out. Yeah, we balance <laughs> each other out. We're literally, like, a yin-yang. It's crazy. Um, and then one of the most favorite things I guess about Julie is that she's just very like selfless like she she really will do anything for anybody she will never say no and sometimes like she almost which is not always a good thing but she almost like will kind of like swallow her feelings just to make sure that you know you feel good and that you're happy and like you know she just is selfless like she just she will do anything for anybody. So I think that's like the best quality that she has. She has a lot, but I think that's one of the best. I'm going in with my favorite concealer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible. Um, I'm obsessed with the Infallible line. I actually am using a lot of things by them, I just realized. And I just put on my favorite and literally I was squirting. There was nothing out of here, nothing coming out of here. The Hey Honey Trick and Treat. Um, concealer. I absolutely love it. I need to get a couple oh more. Oh my gosh. I'm never going to have her try any other concealer. It's crazy. I mean, She's I have obsessed. my Kylie Jenner one here and I just keep going back to this one. It's super hydrating. Do you like the Kylie one, by the way? I think, I think it's definitely more of a higher coverage. I have to play around. I don't play around enough with the makeup, but that's why we have you to have try. You have me? <laughs> <laughs> and you. Oh my God. I love to experiment with makeup. Like I could just sit there for hours when I'm stressed and just do my makeup. But anyway, okay. oh. don't change the subject. Yeah. What do you love and hate about me? Okay. <laughs> so one thing that I hate about you um, is that Reg over here is always <laughs> freaking right. Like 95% of the I time. I got my microphone. <laughs> Oh my god. And even if she isn't right, like, she still thinks she's right. That's a, Even this morning, like, we're already fighting this morning. Yeah, but, we already had a fight before, like, 9 o'clock um, this morning. Yeah, I'm just waiting for us to, like, have a fight on camera. <laughs> it might happen. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she's always right, like, about everything and anything. But I'm um, not always right. Stop so, it. So, yeah. And one just thing that I time. love. So, no matter what, Reg, I mean, we've been friends for... I don't know even how long. Over a decade, like yeah. two decades probably. Yeah. Closer to de decades. Closer to two. But um, she will always be there no matter what. Like if anything happens, she is there. She is. There. I mean, I'm the same way. But Reg is the kind of person where I don't know who she knows, what she knows, what her connections <laughs> are. But girl, we'll get it done. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so, a little fighter. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Okay. What's All next? Right. <laughs> but just going into, I'm going to set my face a little bit. I'm going in with the Hourglass um, Translucent Setting Powder. I've been loving it. It is kind of bougie. Hey, Nikki. Oh. 
My cat decided to come by and play. Um, it is kind of bougie, but I was being cheapski and got the <laughs> smaller version for I think like $18 compared to the big one for like $42, so I'll just wait. I love that though. Yeah, Honestly, I my favorite thing about Sephora is being able to get the travel size because let's be honest, there's so many new products all the time that we want to use. And we never get through any of these products. Like, yeah. ever. And I can I never... travel with this anywhere we go. Yeah. We're always on the go. Like, it's easy it's to travel with. It's like silk. And I don't like baking. Listen, this is makeup that I do kind of like for every day on the go. So I literally just set the areas that I put concealer with. And that's it. So nothing yeah. increases. I'm using the Fit Me by Maybelline in the color 05 Fair. It looks like this. It is such an amazing drugstore powder and just powder in general. Like, I love, and Julie knows, like, I love the new Fenty powders. I love um, the Hourglass um, mineral nail powders. I love so many different powders. The Laura Mercier. I just have been reaching for this. Yeah, I, I got it. I used it once. I don't know if I love it yet. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. So I just do this under my eyes, and then the access, I just kind of set the rest of my face with. All right, let's see. Next question. All right, have you tried Korean skincare um, products and your thoughts? So we, there's a lot of hype about Korean skincare, a lot of hype. Um, hey, Nikki. And yeah, yeah, dog and cat, I'll get him out of here. Well, you um, left the gate open. No, I didn't. She did. Um, have you tried Korean skincare products? So there's a lot of hype, again, about Korean skincare products, and we... we oh, that's my phone. No. Oh. And we are really... Um, really into it we're gonna actually get a couple things and yeah try them out We've been i here. really really love anything with snail like so the serums and the sheet masks i don't have any specific brands like i said just because i was trying out so many different things i just kind of grabbed a bunch of stuff i know that sephora has some stuff and you can also get a lot of stuff on amazon and ebay i'm like kind of leery about ebay but um Anything with like snail, snail, um, snail stuff. Because read reviews. I think the reviews. Yeah, are gonna, you I know. absolutely love. So. Yeah, we're gonna um, get into that because I've been hearing nothing but good mm -hmm. things. I'm gonna go in with my favorite butter bronzer and my Doll 10 number 18 brush. It's just a flat um, brush. Oh my God, you're going like drugstore. I'm using again I know. hourglass. Oh my gosh. Um, again, being a little cheap ski with my um, smaller package of the ambulant. Uh, light bronzer. Um, this is the Luminous Bronzer in Light. I love it. It gives you not only a glow, but a beautiful bronze look. I'm not as tan right now, so it's perfect for how um, light my skin is. And I just go kind of all over. Yeah, I kind of do the same thing. And then I'm actually going to go back in with a contour palette, and I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I'm using the lightest shade in the palette. Wait, you mean Katie Von D? Oh my gosh. So guys, if you it's hang Katie, with us. Katie Von D. Katia. Katia. Katia oh, Von D. Oh my god. So you're going to notice a lot of weird terminology that Julie uh, uses. She, um, I'm going a little bit, I want to go a little bit darker. Oh, okay. She will literally call me randomly and just say the craziest stuff. Like one time she called me and she's like, oh, did you try the new Katie um, product? And I'm like, who's Katie? <laughs> She's like, you know, Katie Von D. And I'm like, you mean Kat Von D? Mm -hmm. Like, she just has, like, the weirdest, craziest terms awesome. for everything. She butchers everything, all the names, and I have to, like, guess who she's talking Katie, about. Katie, Katia. Katia, Katie, Katia. Katie, Katia. Everybody's the same. So it's really, really funny. And as you guys kind of go on this journey with us, you guys will hear so many funny names that Julie uses, and you'll kind of get used to it and understand who she's talking about, I promise. <laughs> I mean, I can read, I just, you know. So I've been loving this brush, and honestly, I think it's just a drugstore brush. I don't even know, but anything like this, I know, um, cool. I think NARS makes one like this. Um, I just kind of dip in, and I like to just very so lightly for every day contour my nose. My eyebrows are really bad, but I'm just lightly going into them with actually a dupe for the Anastasia like, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz is um, the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal. I definitely recommend this. Um, oh, yeah. I love that it's one, It's so pricey too. for a drugstore, but, I mean, I go through these like crazy. Yeah. So, you don't have to because your brows are, you know. Well, I just got microblading done, so, I, guys, I can't actually do my eyebrows. So, this video will be without any brow products, but I typically love the Doll 10 um, Beauty 
arch brow pencil or the l'oreal um pencil i do love those too okay i look for next question right under my eyes just a little bit so With, i mixed the two um kat von d powders under my eyes okay so what do you recommend for crow's feet crow's feet crow's feet crow's feet okay this is just another one of julie's shenanigans i can't whatever. do them. crows crows whatever <laughs> okay i'll go um, into that right okay now. so um there's a lot that can be preventative or that can help but only one thing that only one thing out there that can really 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 help within a week um and that is botox yeah, so i agree be that. before botox hydration is number one um if you wear glasses wear them because i squint a lot when i don't wear mine and they're going to come out even more yeah um but i'm <clears throat> 31 years old and have two i'm only kids. 23 she's I so stop. old stop but um i've noticed my lines they were really really bad in some pictures when i'm really cheesing hard so um i just got a tiny bit and it's a preventative because if i wait another couple years i thought they're going to be even worse and botox is not going to probably help me as much as it did this time yeah. so it's been a month and i'm extremely extremely happy i see a huge difference in the way my concealer goes on and myself in pictures yeah so i agree with that I mean, yours are not that bad at all mine aren't too too bad yet um but i think that the number one thing that i have to say about it I agree with Julie. I just feel like it's all about preventative. The more hydration that you have, keeping your eyes hydrated, especially at night, throughout the night, will definitely help. But once you already have them, I think that the only thing that's really going to save you is Botox and filler. And again, I'm not like promoting that by any means, but I feel like, you know, hey, if it makes you feel good and you're not yeah. against um, doing any like quick little enhancements i'm just like i'm i'm not against for it. it i'm totally for Me like too. doing a little bit to make yourself feel better to yeah. make yourself feel fresher i agree i mean some of the girls i'm not trying to be like mean you know i'm always the nice one but some girls go a little bit to him with everything yeah. and it's it's a lot so yeah. by the way i did use the mac um blush all day blush i absolutely love this brush uh blush and then i yeah. use my real techniques uh blush brush and I use the cheek stamp from Doll 10. It's Ooh. kind of like that gel. Basically, I just stamp my cheeks and then I'm just gonna rub it in. I've been loving it for so summer. So pretty. It's a pretty color. Blend it in. I'm actually using a travel size um, hourglass ambient um, lightning powder in luminous light. It looks like this. It's really, really pretty. Wait, so what's the difference between mine that I had? Yours is a bronzer, babe. Oh, this is, is a, a luminous. Um, powder but it does give you luminosity and it kind of highlights same thing so okay so i just put that in and then what is next okay oh yeah somebody asked about what the difference between subculture and um oak lip liner is for mac Oh, so can, yes. If you're going to do lip snacks, you can talk about so that. So everybody keeps asking all the time what I use on my lips, and it's honestly usually oak lip liner. I never really use anything else, honestly, lately, and I just kind of rub it into my lips. So um, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, where did the other lip liner go? Is this your highlighter brush? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go on with Mary Lou. Um, it's one of my favorite highlighters for every day. Thanks. Get it tight, uh, guys. Ulta. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's right here. I'm sorry I took it because I saw it. <laughs> I'm going to swatch them for you guys. So, this is oak, which is a little bit more of a brown tone. And then I'm going to show you subculture, which is a little bit more of the fleshy pinker tone. So you can see the difference. So this one is oak and this one is um, a subculture. So I think if you are really, really pale, um, I think that the oak might be a little bit too brown on you, although it's a very neutral color. So if you are a little pale, I would try the subculture. I think that you might like that one best. I'm going to go in with oak. And I just ever so lightly overlined my lips, although I did. Uh, Using what? Oak? Yeah. All right. Although I did get lip filler, and I've been really honest about that. Um, if you guys 
have any questions about that or my experiences and things like that, I'd be happy to answer them for you. And I'm using a drugstore product. I love um, their lip liners and their lip glosses. Um, NYX in the color Peekaboo Neutral. Ew. So it's a really nice kind of um, nude pink. And when I mean overlining, I mean overlining. And then I just kind of go in a little tiny bit and I'll go in with my finger and just kind of blend it all together. And I just feel like it gives you such a pretty look. So we had another question and someone asked, What's the hardest um, area to work on, I guess, when we do a client's? I feel like definitely the eyes, just because your eyes are differently shaped from everybody. Everybody has a different eye shape and everybody likes different things. So I just feel like definitely the eyes are the hardest. I have hooded lids, so it does make it a little bit more difficult for me to achieve certain looks like the cut crease and all the popular things that a lot of girls are able to do easily. Um, for every day, I typically don't even do this, but just for the sake of the video to show you um, a little bit of a glammed up version of what I do, I just go into the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light Palette and into that first shade again. And then I kind of look down at my mirror and work right above my crease just ever so lightly just to open up my eye a little bit. And I just feel like it does something. Yeah. So the hardest area that I would say for me is, I agree with her with the eyes, but skin and your face is obviously the, you know, the major, the major area that everyone sees. And you want that flawless glow, you want that flawless looking skin. And unfortunately, if you do not take care of your skin, you're not gonna get mm -hmm. that beautiful coverage. So, you know, girls who don't um, use skincare products or exfoliate or moisturize, it's really hard to kind of get that I foundation agree. to stick and to get that flawless coverage. So, you know, I'll have some girls say, oh, why does her face look so flawless and mine looks, you know, you can see everything. And unfortunately, it's all about skin prep in my, in my, rec in my you know, experience. Yeah, so I, I try to moisturize as much as I can when clients are really dry and as much um, primer I could use as far as hydration goes. But if your skin is not where it's at, then foundation is not gonna look good. And I'll be honest, sometimes I put on foundation or even BB cream and I'm like, why do I look worse now than I did without makeup, yeah, right? Do you all, get that way? It's all about the skin yeah. prep. For sure, I agree. So, I agree with that. Um, I wanna just tell you guys what I'm doing real quick. I'm just taking a light, small shader brush and I'm going in underneath my eyes with the lightest shade also from Kat Von D. And the reason that I do this is I just do it ever so lightly and kind of blend out. It really helps open up the eyes and especially if you have a lot of fine lines underneath your eyes, it will really kind of mask them and um, open up your eyes a little bit and just give you a really, really beautiful, um, my eye shape and kind of open up your eyes a little bit. I actually bit. have to get that again because my Katya Van D palette. Like, Katya Van D. Katya Van D I palette. Love you. She um it broke and that color was that was in perfect color. Yeah. Um quickly I did my lip liner and I used the color pink plaid um from Mac and then I'm going on going um to top it off with um Kevin Kwan. Did I say that right? Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Kwan. Yeah. Yeah. I said it right. Yes. Bonus. Um, this kind of, now I can't say this word either. What's that word? Like the holographic, holographic what's that word? Holographic? Holographic, yeah. Holographic? <laughs> Doesn't it, does it yeah, smell it good? It smells really good mm. like in my mouth. It actually smells really good. This is my um, favorite setting spray, guys. This is by yes. Morphe, the continuous spray. I use this every single day. I love this so, so much. I love this. It gives me a look of that. Ooh. That's pretty. You didn't want this one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right, well, now I want it guys, back. I want to show you my lashes like before. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to um, use, oh, I'm so glad I found this, the Effort Lash from Doll 10. I gave it to my mom. Do you like that? I'm obsessed. Wait until like you. I love my lashes like separated and long. I don't like them like clumpy. Yeah. You know, some girls like like that clumpy. Yeah. So. And I'm just gonna go in. It's the new Perversion line from Urban Decay. It's a waterproof mascara. I like to use something waterproof underneath on my lower lashes just because I feel like in the summertime, I like, you know we all sweat and we're all running around, especially on mom duty with the baby, and I don't want it to smudge. So I just ever so lightly coat the bottom 
and I'm not going to put any up top because I still have some of my lash extensions done. I'm actually going to get them redone on Saturday. Oh, so, you are? You like them that much? Yeah. I, I mean, for summertime, I think it's great just because you don't have to wear mascara. I don't have to worry about anything smudging, um, and I just feel like it's easy. Ow. I hate when I do that. What? I poked myself. Uh-oh. Now my makeup's going to ruin. All right. Well, the good thing is, is we know 659,000 tricks on how to correct it. All right, let's do another question. Okay. Well, this. Uh, me... I know I'm not the only one. Here, I have it here. Oh, let's see. All right, what's, uh, what's your favorite skin prep item for clients for oily, dry, or mature skin? Okay, so um, let me just read it one more time. Da, 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 da. For clients. Okay, so for oily skin, I really like the Cover FX Flotting Drops. I feel like it really mattifies and controls the oil. It doesn't just do it topically for the time being. Um, I feel like it really helps to control the oils throughout the day. So I love that, especially for clients that are oily. Um, for drier skin and for mature skin, I really love the Ambro Elise. I think that it's super hydrating. You do have to give it a couple minutes to soak into the skin. You can't. Um, you know, apply foundation on it right away. They also have one for oily skin. Yeah. It's called Hydro Matte. So it's oh, amazing. Oh, I never tried it. Do you like it? Yeah, I haven't tried that one either because usually everyone's always yeah, pretty dry. Yeah, everyone's know? pretty dry. Um, so I really love those. Now for my personal stash and my holy grails, um, I love the Benefit Professional. You actually got me hooked on it. Mm -hmm. um, it's the only primer that really fills in your pores. Yeah, I really like it. It's not too silicone-y, but it really gets the job done. So I really love that. Um, I do love the Tatcha Luminous um, Canvas, the Silk Luminous Canvas um, primer. I love that one. And then for hydration, I love the Bobbi Brown um, face base. It's also a primer, but it's uh, kind of works like a moisturizer too. It's like a two-in-one. I feel like since I'm so dry, the hydration it provides is out of this world. And then um, I have to say my holy grail that I like literally can't live without besides foundation is my oak lip liner. I feel like I just, it wouldn't be me without my like signature lip and that's what it is. Yeah. I just put on mascara and I'm curling my eyelashes to give me that extra um, curl because I don't use a curler. So this is the um, before. Can I spray I this on you? See. I want you to try this. I yeah, but I have my um, Mario Belesco. Belesco? Belesco. Mario Belesco. Please subscribe to our channel for more Mario Belesco. It's Mario Whatever. Badesco. Whatever. Badesco, oh Belesco. Oh my gosh, she's so embarrassing sometimes, guys. Like, okay. I actually can't handle it. So you can spray this before or after. It has aloe, herbs, and rose water. Mm. It smells good. It's really refreshing. I think yeah. even without makeup, to have it in your bag and just to give you that extra boost is I really can definitely good. smell the rose, though. So if you guys aren't, like, a huge fan of rose, like, I'm not, honestly. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of, like, a little grandma babula smell. So I don't know if right. uh, I'm into well, you that. You call me babula and granny. She is. She's There's a grandma. There's nothing wrong with high-waisted panties and clothes and jeans. There's something wrong when your high-waisted panties act like your bra as well. Well, <laughs> my look is done. So I'm going to get my granny hat on because you. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't even with her. Listen, you got to protect your face from the sun. I'm ready to go. Oh my God. Can I take this out? So yeah, this is our final look. We hope that you guys <laughs> enjoyed our video. Thank you for watching yes. and we hope that you join us on our next video. So please subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell yes. so you are notified whenever we do future posts. And if you could be so sweet to leave us a comment with what you guys want to see next and um, share our video, we would greatly yes. appreciate it. So thank you for watching. You. Love you. Mwah. So, in honor of our first video, we have a very special little boy that watches us, and uh, Gigi just wanted to give Landon a big shout out. Hi, so, Landon. hi, Angela. Hi, Landon. We love you, and thank you for watching our video. Yay. Ready? Hey, dolls. I'm Regina. And I'm Julia. This is our Tron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead.
Hi dolls, I'm Regina. And I'm Julia. This is our channel and we are Beauty Dolls. Yes. So, um, I already forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um, okay. The beginning was fine. Um, okay. Keep this here, <laughs> just in case. Hey dolls, I'm Regina. Stop okay, okay.